per day. Uh, this comes at Heathrow continues its passenger cap in a bid to minimise disruptions. Simon Calder will tell us uh, what this means. Simon is travel editor at The Independent. Uh, of these 10,000 flights, and these are round trips, I think we're talking about, Simon, who will be affected most? Right, this is a, a total of about 10,000 short-haul flights between late October and late March. And I can tell you exactly who's going to be affected uh, most. It's going to be travellers from Belfast City, from Aberdeen, Inverness, Glasgow, Edinburgh, uh, flying to London Heathrow to connect generally with uh, British Airways flights or just reach uh, the UK capital. I'm just having a look. Um, this is actually starting almost now in that the BA is also cancelling um, uh, uh, about uh, uh, 200,000 empty seats are going to be taken out of the system uh, between now and the end of October, just looking a month ahead from today. So that's Friday, the 22nd of, uh, 23rd of September, uh, London to Aberdeen, a really important route for uh, northeastern Scotland. Normally, you'd have anything up to um, eight flights a day. There are just two. The prices, let me just check. Yep, uh, uh, the, uh, you can only fly in the evening, and the lowest fare is £215. Normally, you'd be able to pick up something for about uh, maybe £100. So much less choice on short-haul flights, particularly domestic and higher fares. And uh, the other aspect is going to be, and you'll know this um, uh, uh, because of your um, trips through London Heathrow, so many people rely on those links to connect um, with long-haul destinations. And you could find that actually you're sitting around at Heathrow for many, many hours as a result. So um, pretty bleak, actually. British Airways says, look, we're only going to be reducing our schedule by 8%, which doesn't sound much. But if you're on, on one of those 1 in 12 flights which are going to be cancelled, or you are trying to find a seat on uh, a, 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 with a reduced number of seats, then I'm afraid um, it is going to be very significant for you.